Hi everyone, it's John Dyslexic Geek here. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the LEGO Family Reunion Celebration set. This set which came out in January and contains 1,823 pieces. Retails for £90 or $130, which I think is just outstanding value. This has been one of my most anticipated sets of early 2024, much like the Auspicious Dragon. So I'm very looking forward to getting this built ever since it was first announced. I've been really intrigued by this set. So let's get it done and see if it lives up to all my expectations. So here we have the finished set and the first impressions of it are very good. It does look just fantastic. Now one thing I would like to point out straight away right at the start of the review is that whilst this set does give the impression of being a modular, it really isn't. Um, for two very specific reasons. For one, there's no notches on the side for it to directly connect to a modular. Those aren't there. It's, it's, it's completely not possible. And two is the actual profile of the set. It is actually wider than a traditional um, base plate, so it doesn't really fit. And also it's slightly narrow. Um, so anyone think of getting this set to direct, directly attach it to the Lego City, it really isn't something you can do, it's not a modular. I imagine there'll be some sort of mock out there at some point, but as, as it stands, it is a standalone building. Uh, but you certainly could place it inside your modular, modular city, I would have thought, just, be, just, just can't direct, directly attach it. Uh, which is no bad thing, it's not the end of the world. It does look really good, very striking colours, really good looking set. It's quite narrow. Um, but it does, certainly does have a nice profile and there's a lot going on in this set with lots of little details and it is very very cool. So let's take a look at the minifigures that you get in this set and a closer look at the build. In this set we get a rather generous 13 minifigures. So starting with the little girl who comes complete with a, I think this is supposed to be like a money a money um, card and that's what that's supposed to be, money envelope. Very beautiful design on the, on the, um, on the outfit, really nice, goes all the way around the back. She does have two expressions, which is pretty good. Next, we have a little boy. Um, not too much detail on this one, but a bland costume on this one. Uh, a little bit of printed, I did like a little uh, on the back there, that's quite good. Again, comes with a, a money envelope. Also has two expressions. You get what I would say is a grandmother. Again, like a little girl, has a very similar um, dress on the top. Comes with a bunch of roses. Uh, again, yeah, very similar to the little girl. Again, two facial expressions on this one, which is good. Then we get this uh, woman here. Uh, not Again, not too detailed on this one. Uh, rather basic jumper. And that does come with a printed mobile phone, which is decent. We get this chap here. Again, rather basic. Uh, just a bit of printing on the, on the jumper. Uh, comes with a microphone. And has two, four, two expressions. Next, we get uh, this girl here, nicely detailed on the leather jacket with a little top underneath. Does look quite good. Comes complete with a mobile phone and a selfie stick. Also has two facial expressions. We get a couple of waiters, and these are really nicely designed. Probably some of the best prints in this set, I feel. Uh, go all the way around the back, looks fantastic. The, the dragon. Really nice on the back there, it does look just fantastic. Same for the female uh, waiter, uh, well waitress, it does look really good. Again, very similar to the, to the chap just now, really nice detail, they are really good. Then we get a chef, again, who again has a really nice little look looking outfit, complete with meat cleaver, and he has like a gold dragon on the back, which looks really nice and striking. Get the, I think maybe uh, the grandfather, and um, comes with a camera. A uh, nice little detailing on the cardigan, looks pretty decent, looks fine. We get this chap here with a nice de uh, printed coat, because uh, complete with a moulded scarf. Does go all the way around the back, that, that looks quite nice actually, is a nice looking minifigure. Uh, comes with a bunch of roses. And we get this uh, girl here, again looking like with a mobile phone, maybe with a, like messaging. Again, nice detailing on the jacket, looks fine. Just, saying, just like the previous chap, really cool. And finally, we have what is probably my favourite figure in the set, which come, which is this one, which comes in this uh, really cool looking Year of the Dragon outfit. Really would not look out of place in the collectible minifigure series. Really nice, beautiful detailing on the top, all around the back. Just looks fantastic. So overall, the minifigures for the most part are pretty good. There's some pretty basic ones in here, but at this price range, I can't really criticise it, but there are a fair amount of nice looking minifigures. So yeah, so overall, really good. Looking at the set close up, uh, there's quite a lot of detail in this Chinese restaurant, which I really do like. The architecture is stunning. 
I particularly like the use of these red uh, like hanging lanterns. They look really effective. They, they are nice. On the, uh, the hanging lanterns, they are actually printed pieces, which is really nice to see. They are really quite classy. They look really good. As we move round, we have like this, uh, like flat, like flower, flowers growing here. A little bit of artistry going on here. It looks really good. Uh, I do like the use of this little extractor fan that's quite clever or air conditioning unit. That's really quite a clever use of that. And as we move round to the back of the, of the restaurant, uh, I'll go through each section in, in a second. But round here we've got the, the, the kitchen. Uh, clever use of the oven, which is quite clever. I do like the use of that. Um, chopping block or wood block. Turkey there. Upstairs we have a bathroom. Then moving around, you do have a, 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 a wall here that you can remove to reveal the um, inside the, 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 the um, till for the Chinese restaurant. And inside you have the sign of the Chinese restaurant, which is a sticker. Unfortunately, it's very much predominantly stickers in this set, but it's not. Um, it's not a major thing. It is fine considering this, the price point. Then moving around to the side here, I do just love these art. These are very cool, beautiful local architecture pieces. They do look really good. Then we have like an aquarium there with a couple of fishes um, on display. It looks really good, really, really good. I like that effect. Then we have the sign for the restaurant. Again, both of these are stickers, but they are nice. All, all around the sides of the, of the restaurant are these like frogs, gold frogs on these gold leaves which really do have a good effect, they look nice. I do like these little, uh, these bricks used like rafters, I think that's what you call them, not quite sure what you call them, but they do look, it is a beautiful, stunning looking set, very architecturally beautiful. As with all mod modular type buildings, the roofs, uh, the different sections do uh, lift off to reveal more detail, just to get more access to the inside. And there is a fair amount of space, which is pretty good. Uh, we have a look at the interior, si interior side, of the Chinese restaurant there, the little way going and uh, place the order. Not too much going on down here, but you do have this like flower pot here, a couple of banisters, and I do like the use of these red curtains. That is pretty effective. Yeah, it's definitely a, a set you could have a lot of fun with. I uh, love this little kitchen area where you've got a little window there where you can pass through the, um, the orders. It does look really good. And then we move into the family area upstairs where you have a dining room table complete with loads of uh, six red chairs, complete with six red chairs. Uh, really good effect, you see the various um, food, the Chinese food in there with, uh, I think these are, I'm not sure what they are, but noodles, and chopsticks, very cool. And in the corner there, we have a karaoke machine. Really good, I do like that. Couple of stickers on the, on, on, the, on, on there, it looks fine. Then we move up to the roof. Again, we have another of these uh, Chinese uh, lanterns uh, hanging across. It looks really effective, really nice. I think you've got here a couple of um, Chinese fireworks, I believe, they, they, that, that's what they are. Uh, another, say, another sort of seating area up top. So lots of nice little details in there. Very much appreciate the effort. So overall, yeah, this set is just fantastic. It is really, really good. I highly recommend it to anyone. Very satisfying to put the set together. I had a lot of fun building it. It very much is like building the modular, uh, very lot of the similar sort of processes. You have very, it's again, similar sort of things to a modular where you can remove different sections of the uh, the building, which is good really. And it's something different. I can certainly see it inside my Lego city as a standalone set. It does work, particularly with, as you have these paved areas around the sides and around the front. There's no problems there. It comes with really good minifigures. Overall, and the value of it is just outstanding. Uh, £90, $130, uh, it, it is very much a bargain, and I do highly recommend it to anybody. It's a really good set, yeah, really nice surprise. Lived up to all my expectations. Uh, there are quite a lot of stickers in this set, but at this price range, I can't really criticise it for that. Um, there are a few printed pieces in here, so that does kind of make up for it. Uh, but the overall effect is very good. Now, anyone planning on getting this set, do bear in mind it's only going to be available for 2024. It is due to retire by the end of December, so it's not going to be on the market for a huge amount of time. So if you want to get hold of this, uh, maybe do so rather than later, because that's going to be one of these sets I don't think you'll find in the Lego stores um, going forward. My, my Lego store don't generally carry the seasonal Lego sets for very long, um, so it probably will be a set that you'll have to find online. And I have a sad feeling it might be one of those sets that gets forgotten about. So if you are thinking about it, getting it, I would maybe recommend doing it so now or certainly put it on your list because chance it might be one that you, you might end up forgetting to get and I really would hate to pass up on this. It really is good. 
and it would be interesting to see what the mock uh, community would come up with. I imagine somewhere there'll be one to turn it into a full-size modular, um, but that obviously would probably require a lot more parts and a lot more cost. But as a standalone set, very good, definitely recommended. So let me know in the comments, is this a set that you picked up yet or is it one you've got your eye on? Can I please ask leave a like? And if you've enjoyed today's video, I'd be very grateful if you consider subscribing today and look forward to seeing you on my next video. Thanks very much for watching today.